Hey everybody, this is Rob from TechGuysSmartBuy.com and we're here with iOS 8 running on iPhone 5 and we just wanted to let you know our initial thoughts and give you a first look at Apple's new vision for their mobile OS. And to kick things off, let's jump right into QuickType because most people use keyboard. So let's see how well this works. Uh, quick type is a lot better than I thought. The suggested words appear just as fast as you can type them. So I'm going to say I don't know. Of course, since this was just announced, uh, there really isn't any third party keyboards available as of yet. But they will be coming, um, you know, Swift Key. Um, and a few other third-party uh, keyboards will be providing their services to iOS. So that is definitely a good thing for those who hated the, hated the iOS keyboard and wanted a little more flexibility. Uh, the tap to talk option is definitely an interesting feature added to the messages where you, uh, you have, uh, not to be confused with the mic down here for voice typing, uh, you have a mic here and you just press and hold and then you just start talking. And then you can either swipe up to keep it or swipe to the right to delete it. Uh, Apple has made it a lot easier to add photos or multiple photos to a message thread uh, without having to go turn on the screen. You just hit the camera and then you can just swipe from the latest your latest pictures taken and if that doesn't work for you you could always just uh, hit photo library or take a photo and hit photo library. Of course that opens up to you know all, you, all your different photo folders that you have. Now with single and group messaging threads, you can now share locations, uh, mute notifications, um, you know, via do not disturb, as well as view photo attachments. Well, there's none here. F view um, photo attachments for everybody, you know, for all your conversations. So let's, let me pull up here. And then you can just pull up everything you've ever sent you know within within reason and that'll definitely be good to know because definitely and then as well in the group photos you can just kick somebody out or just leave yourself rather than having to delete the entire thread because you don't want one or two people in it uh, Apple made sure to add a few new things to the camera app as well so now you see you have this extra icon up here which is timer so now you have the timer of you know off three seconds or ten seconds uh, which is pretty interesting, which is a good addition. And then the, probably the biggest one, um, I mean, for, for creative types, you know, everybody probably won't use this, but I think it's interesting that they add it. Um, you have a time-lapse feature, so now you can create your own time-lapse videos. And it'd definitely be interesting to see what, uh, what the different types of results that uh, people come up with, um, and along with all these uh, photo apps you can use with the app in the App Store with them. So that'll definitely be an interesting look at what they do with that. Another thing they added that they didn't really talk about was the option to create your own slideshows. Um, you know, you choose however many photos you wish. Slideshow option. Um, you have the option of choosing your transitions. And we're going to change that to dissolve. And then also adding your own music if you choose you don't have to uh, I'll just throw that on but wait Apple is not done with the photo side of things uh, they definitely made their editing editing photo capabilities a lot more robust now you have like a little dial right here where you can hit that and then you have the option to you know tweak the lighting color and different stuff to uh to your photos as well as well as crop you know you still have to crop and rotate and different stuff but um and then another interesting thing is that the fact that you can where is it the fact that you can adjust the aspect ratio of the photo as well so that's definitely an interesting twist to things that um that other platforms really isn't offering at the moment so uh, adding the ability 
to be able to do a quick reply from notifications, lock screen, all that is a godsend. That is like, thank you for finally doing that. And then you can just, you know, hear from the lock screen, you can just hit reply and then just go right into it and bang it out. And then also from notification shade, you can do the same. And then, you know, you still have the keyboard, you still have options, you know, you can still emoji, uh, voice, so you still have pretty much full full keyboard at your disposal. Uh, the spotlight search on iOS is a bit more robust, so you still have a, you have a little bit more you can kind of go to, uh, rather than just being um, a bare bones kind of quick search where you can uh, don't do too much. So you know you can search music videos. Um, you know Wikipedia, the web, all that, depending on what you're searching for and all that, and then you know get get the information you need or get the item you need and go right to whatever you need to do with it. Shazam this. Hang on, let me listen. Trouble Man by Marvin Gaye, I think. You think pretty good. You know you should, Siri. The Shazam with Siri um, works pretty well. It's not, I guess, as fast as you probably would like it to be, but it does work. It does, it's pretty accurate so far. I did a few songs and it works. Um, the hands-free, of course, is a bit buggy. It was working um, last night and now it's not working, so we won't be able to show you that. But then again, this is beta, so bear with us. Uh, they've also added um, a quick way to access your contacts via the multitasker. So, you know, you, you do it the same way as you went to go close the app or do some multitasking. Um, you know, you can swipe through, you know, your recents or go through your favorites. And then, you know, whoever you want to get at, you just touch at it, touch them. And then, you, you know, here I have work, mobile, text, or FaceTime. So, you know, depending on if they're, of course, an iPhone user, depending on how many, how many options you'll have to to reach that person. Lastly is uh, Apple's health health app or health kit. Um, it's This is a pretty in-depth details about your entire well-being. I mean, the new S Health is pretty good, but this goes really, really in-depth. Like, you know, from, you know, from body heat to BMI and body fat to blood glucose, alcohol, medication, um, you know, inhaler, nutrition, dietary intake, all that, sleep, even your vitals. Um, you also have a medical ID card and everything. So, but at the current time, you know, unless you're typing in all this stuff in uh, manually, uh, you're going to need an external source to kind of record all this to, to better make use of the app. So, I guess when it comes out, you'll have the fuel band, the Fitbits, and the ups to choose from, and hopefully iWatch uh, to go along with the launch of iOS and iPhone 6 to better take care of all the things. But so but so far, this is pretty good. It's pretty in-depth. I mean, this is what the, the dashboard would look like. You got some of this stuff activated. Um, you can check out the days, week, months, year, and, you know, and keep old and keep up with your everything, you know, all your health needs. So that's pretty much iOS 8 for now. Um, if you want to see more, let us know in the comments. Um, if, you, if there's something we missed that you may have read about, uh, we'll check it out and let you know if it's even there or not because this is the first beta. So as the mo other betas drop, we'll try to update this and let you know what's new and what's coming. Give you a heads up before you know, it becomes available for all for fall. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.